So let's start at the beginning. We're sheet mulching this entire 12,000 square foot area over in front of Franklin Dining Commons at UMass. We're gonna be growing a permaculture garden. It's gonna be acting as a sustainable garden because it's not gonna need as many resources and it's gonna be a lot more resistant to drought. So this is the reason why we're layering all this organic matter. It's beefing up the soil by about six to eight inches over an entire 12,000 square foot area. And that's huge. That's about 200,000 pounds of organic matter that we're laying on this lawn, completely transforming it into a permaculture garden. Well, part of the, uh, the location scheme was um, that it would provide the dining hall, which exists a mere 10 feet away from the lawn, um, with edible plants um, on our campus that can feed and nourish our student body um, for free. And so now what we're attempting to do is grow food all the while growing soil and growing the very land that we live on in an eco-sensitive way. So we're, we're taking this no-till gardening method, we're bringing it to UMass, and what we're doing first is we're aerating the soil. We're reducing the compaction but disturbing the soil a lot less. So then the microorganisms which are already there are not going to go anywhere else, they're just going to get a lot of food added to them, which is what we do next. We add about four inches or so of compost. So we're adding that right onto the existing grass and then we're putting cardboard on top of that. So that cardboard is going to act more as the barrier layer. It's going to prevent the grass which is underneath there from coming up. On top of the cardboard we're putting a mulch layer. And that can be anything from wood chips, which is what we use, to straw, to grass clippings, or yard waste, or garden waste, anything. Anything that's going to hold in moisture and hold in nutrients for the plants. Let that sit for about five months, and in the spring, you're going to have this great growing medium that plants are just going to thrive in. I think everyone should know how to grow their own food, know that they can do it, and it's not very hard. If everyone has that in their minds when they go to the cook dinner every night, it's going to make a huge impact on how our country runs and I think the overall health of people, um, which is one of the biggest epidemics facing our country is just our food. We don't have to see up front um, any of the detrimental impacts of the way that our food is being made. If you're not being forced to face that, um, you just don't think about it. And students will have to if, with this project. American agriculture is really good at one thing, producing cheap food, so there's a lot of it you know, widely available, and if you have a medium income, uh, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, but there's some unintended consequences that come with industrial agriculture. Um, resource depletion, pollution, uh, and, um, and disruption of rural communities particularly. And so um, we think we can do better. Um, Agricultural sustainability starts to look at some of these issues, but permaculture really takes it home. Too often times we just look for the, okay, what's, what's the most expensive and therefore the best solution, but sometimes the best solution starts out with the simplest form. With permaculture, we can simply say, okay, what do we have? What can, what can we use that is completely natural, that is in the air, that is... Um, and our plates even as of now that we can later use on as compost. What do we have now? And I feel like that's the best place to start if you're looking for a solution. It's using food that came from the dining halls that has been broken down into compost and reusing it and putting it back into the garden to build, you know, to grow food that's going to be used in the dining halls again. It's, it's very cyclical and it really localizes the way that we think about food, the way we get food. This uh, garden really tell students too is the, um, the food that has been served at UMass is fresh you can get. The second as well too is to educate the student that the sustainability is what UMass uh, want to embrace and we want to do more. I believe the awareness that comes with it and the, the sense of power and, and participation that comes with uh, students growing their own food, I think that's where the big differences will come. Uh, it's in, it's in uh, helping students um, recognizing that they can do something about some of the problems in the world by focusing locally, by focusing on their own backyard right here at UMass on the campus. So I see this project as being a model, a replicable model that can be used everywhere. And that's what's really important is that we empower people and inspire people to say this is how you do it. It's very easy to do. Just get a lot of people involved to have it be a community effort and you can build these gardens everywhere.